بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر فیض اللہ اینڈ یو آر واچنگ ایزی میتھمیٹکس ایپلیکیشن آف میٹرس ان دس ویڈیو وی شیل لرن ٹو میتھڈس دا گاس ایلیمنیشن میتھڈ اینڈ دا گاس جارڈن ایلیمنیشن میتھڈ ٹو سال سسٹم آف لینئر ایکویشنس representation of a system of linear equations in the form of matrices. If we are given a system of m linear equations in n variables, as we can see on the screen, then in the matrix notation, this system can be represented as Ax is equal to b. where A is a matrix which can be obtained from the coefficients of these variables. And X is a matrix which contains all variables in this system. And B is a matrix which contains all constants on the right-hand sides of these equations. Another important matrix is called the augmented matrix a b it contains all the coefficients of vari variables and constants on the right hand side of these equations let us see a simple example express the following system of two equations in two variables x and y in the matrix notations. 2x plus 3y is equal to 4, 5x plus 7y is equal to 6. In the matrix notations, this system can be represented as Ax is equal to b, where A is a matrix 2, 3, 5, and 7, which can be obtained from the coefficients of these variables. X is a matrix which contains the variables X and Y in these equations. And B is a matrix which can contain the constants on the right hand side of these equations. Another matrix which is called the augmented matrix for these equations can be written as 2, 3, 5, 7, 4, 6. In the gas elimination method, we solve a system of linear equations by reducing the augmented matrix of that system to a Shillan form. And then by the backward substitution, we get the values of the variables in that system. Let us explain it by solving this example. In this example, we have two equations. In the first place, we have to obtain its augmented matrix as follows. AB is equal to 5, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4. Now, by the row operations, we have to reduce this augmented matrix to the echelon form. So we need that this file should be 1. We use the row operation, row 1 minus 2 or 1. Multiplying 2 with 2, we get 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. 
So we get one here. Similarly, we get minus two and minus six. And this will be as it is two, three, four. Now, by the row operation, we need that this two must be zero. So we use the row operation R2 minus 2 R1. Let us write R1 as it is 1 minus 2 minus 6. Now 2 ones are 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. And then in a similar way we get 7 and here we get 16. Now we need that this 7 should be 1. So again, we have to perform a row operation R2 divided by 7. So we get 1 minus 2 minus 6. This is 0, 7 divided by 7 is 1 and this one is 16 by 7. Now by the backward substitution, we get, we can see that this is the coefficient of x, this one is the coefficient of y. So we get that y is equal to 16 by 7 that this is equation one. From the first row, we get this is the coefficient, one is the coefficient of x minus two is the coefficient of y. So we get x minus two y is equal to minus six. Let us say this is equation two. Now we already have the value of y. So we need the value of x. So put equation one and two, and after simplification, we get that x is equal to minus 10 by seven. In this example, we have to solve a system of three equations with three variables x, y, and z. So let us write its augmented matrix. A, B is equal to one, five, two, nine. One, one, seven, six. Zero, minus three, four, minus two. Now we have to reduce this augmented matrix to a Shilan form. So we need that this one should be zero. By the row operation, R2 minus R1, we have one, five, two, nine, and now we get this is zero, minus four, five, minus three. And the third row will be as it is zero, minus three, four, minus two. Now we need that this minus four should be one. So we perform the row operation R2 minus R3, and we get 1, 5, 2, 9. Here we get 0, here we get minus 1, plus 1, and this one is minus 1. And this is 0, minus 3, 4, minus 2. Now, we have to multiply 
row 2 with minus 1. So we get 1, 5, 2, 9, and now this is 0, 1, minus 1, plus 1, and this is 0, minus 3, 4, minus 2. Now we need that this minus 3 should be 0. So we use the row operation R3 plus 3 R2. And we have 1, 5, 2, 9. 0, 1, minus 1, 1. Now this is 0. This one becomes 0. And this one is now 1. This one is also 1. Now we have to use the backward substitution. So from the third row, we can see the coefficient of x is 0. The coefficient of y is 0. The coefficient of z is 1. So z is equal to 1. Let us say this is our equation number 1. From the second row, the coefficient of x is 0. The coefficient of y is 1. The coefficient of z is minus 1. And this is equal to 1. Let us say this is equation 2. From the first row, we have x plus 5y plus 2z is equal to 9. Let us say this is equation number 3. So now 2 implies just put the value of z in equation 2 and we get y minus 1 is equal to 1, which gives y is equal to 2. Now from the third equation, let us put the value of z and y in equation 3. We have x plus y to the 10 plus 2 1s are 2 is equal to 9. So this is 12. 9 minus 12. We get my minus 3. So x is equal to minus 3. To solve a system of linear equations by the Gauss-Jordan elimination method, the key point is that we should reduce the augmented matrix of that system to reduce the echelon form. We explain the method by solving this example. Let us write the augmented matrix of this system. A, B is equal to 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 7, 7, minus 1, 2, 5, 2, 7. Now we have to reduce this augmented matrix to the reduced echelon form. So we need the row operations to make this two as zero and this guy also as zero. By row two minus two R one, we can make this zero. Let us write one, three, two, two. And now two twos are two, two minus two is zero. And this one is one, three, minus five. The next operation is R three minus two or one. So again, we can get here zero, minus one, minus two, and three. Now, 
by the row operations, we need that this minus one should be zero and this three should also be zero. So we perform the operation row one minus three R2 and row three plus row two and we get one zero minus seven seventeen zero three sorry this one is one let me write it again this one is one three minus five and now zero this becomes zero one minus two now the next thing which we need this three should be zero and this minus seven should be zero so we have to perform another row operation r1 plus 7 or 3 if you we multiply 1 with 7 and then add it with this one so we can get 0 and now r2 minus 3 r3 so we get 1 0 this one becomes 0 and this one is 3 0 this one is 1 it will become 0 and this one is now 1 because 2 twos are okay 3 twos are 6 so minus 5 plus 6 is 1 and this one is 0 0 1 minus 2 and now let us use the equation so you, we can see in from the first row the coefficient of x is 1 but the coefficient of y and the coefficient of z they are 0 so we get x is equal to 3 from the second row we, you can see the coefficient of x is 0 the coefficient of y is 1 the coefficient of z is 0 so we get y is equal to 1 from the third row, the coefficient of x and y, they are 0, and the coefficient of z is 1. So z is equal to minus 2. That's all.